down here doing a check. Um, I swapped the uh, audio, well, one of the audio cables. I'm having to put two together to get all the way over to the closet. But the server is from the mixer over here. I think I still I got Cam4 working here. Uh, Cam4 is not working. Oh. Oh, I don't have I don't have anything plugged in but Cam4. I'll unplug the USB. And that was what I suspected would happen. Wait. It, why is it messed up? Maybe, no, I didn't do any changing while the, oh, the camera wasn't turned on. Okay, so, but it, yeah, that's it set to the right camera. Everything seems good. Oh, there it is. Now it's working. How about that? I didn't know you could go into the properties and get back out and have it work. But anyway, the, uh, the, it go, uh, my S58 here, it goes from, uh, oh, I don't know if that works. Put that, yeah, I'm only showing the camera right now. Okay. Um, foreign desktop. Yeah, will that work? Yeah, I think it'll somewhat work. Okay, so, uh, Okay, SM58 here goes to the mixer there, then to the Behringer VAMP, and out of the Behringer VAMP, over to a USB sound card in the server in the closet behind me. And uh, it's too, I don't have a cable. Uh, what I need is two quarter, what I really need is two quarter inch outputs to a TRS 3.5 millimeter to go into that little USB sound card that I've got plugged into the server. And uh, <coughs> I've got two of them. This is uh, the kind it is right here. They, uh, I got them, I don't know, several years ago, I'm going to say, uh, for about $2 each. Now you can't find them for less than 7 or $8 each, but they're okay. But uh, basically they were great for $2, but... There, uh, I was using, that's something I had to use on the server for a month or two, or three, I don't know how long. Uh, I'm not good at keeping track of time anymore, but, uh, and I bought me a, uh, for, for Christmas I got myself a uh, 4K TV that uh, has HDMI and uh, DisplayPort inputs. So I don't have anything with DisplayPort on it, but I might one day, I don't know, but anyway, it was just the best deal. And I've got the, I think it at least has two HDMI's. But anyway, I've got an HDMI going out of it over here to the uh, the new TV, and it's just great. Uh, love it. I put it up. Uh, I like to sit lean back. Here's my little, you probably see it. If you see my videos, you'll see me doing this, trying to get this straightened up. This is the way I sit most of the time, because cause I like to lean back. And, uh, and I was always kind of looking... I was always kind of tilt my head down to not be looking at the frame of my glasses. So, and, and but really, that's not. I, I went on like that for years and years. Uh, I probably had this my my 23 inch monitor. I don't know, five to eight years. It seems like 10 years now, really. But I don't know how long I've had it now. Anyway, the big. This is a 49 inch actual 49 inch corner to corner just display area of it. Uh, TV and. Uh, it's 4K, and it also has uh, upscaling, so if you're uh, watching something that's low resolution, it makes it look as good as it can, and, and I can tell, I switched it on and off, and you can tell the difference, uh, and it has an, uh, well, it's like, it's, actually, I don't know what it says on there, I don't think it says earphone, I think it says audio, anyway, it's not really, it's not, it's not what I would consider an earphone output, because it doesn't have a volume control. It's just a line level output that's 3.5 millimeter, which is fine for the perfect for the computer because I, I control everything right here on the on my keyboard with this big old knob of uh, the volume, you know. So I, the input going into it, you know, go, and then it's straight from there to my amps. I'm mean, running two car audio amps powered by uh, computer power supplies, uh, going on to six different speakers, and it's just in stereo though. It's not uh, surround sound. But uh, sounds pretty good, uh, especially considering it's all. Well, you can see some of them. <laughs> it's, a, it's a set of six by nine triaxles for a car in a box. Oh, all the jam box speakers that I bought back in the late mid to late 90s, probably about 95. Yeah, 
And then my bigger speakers, 10 inch, I think they're yeah, Magnavox 10 inch with a, with a tweeter. They're from the uh, late 70s or early 80s. They're from the they're from the days. They actually have a pretty good bass because they're from the days when uh, you know everybody listening to music on record albums on LPs, and uh, they did they didn't put out a lot of bass, so they would build the systems to put out more bass, and uh, they really by themselves don't sound so great on the you know CDs. And I got them. My buddy gave them. I used to listen to them at my buddy's apartment years ago when I'd go visit him on the weekends and stuff. And uh, I like the bass. I don't. I don't really like a lot of real highs. Anything above about a thousand kilohertz starts hurting my ears. And uh, but I like the bass on. But I, it was missing in the mid range. And the highs. Well, if you really, you won't even notice the highs, but they are there because the bass will override it. But but if you stick your head down there, you can really hear them. You know. Uh, so anyway, all of this mixed together gives a, uh, the all those are more MIDI, the, the, uh, the Jensen, those are Jensen's, that's my favorite, I actually like Jensen's better than any other car speaker I ever heard, I started, I started, discovered them back in the 70s, always liked them, and uh, they have just a good all-around sound, they put out enough bass that you will hear the bass out of them, way more, well, I've, I've ran them all separately, you know, so I know what the, each one's characteristics, but you can you can stick your ear in front of each one and get a pretty good idea. I mean, with them that close together, you can't tell completely. But anyway, back to the uh, setup. In, uh, I, I installed OBS Studio in my uh, Dell 3, uh, Dell, my HP DL 380G7 server. It's... Uh, Got two six-core processors, uh, so that's 12 cores, hardware cores with hyper-threading is 24 cores, and uh, um, and, and I know I, I've got to, I'm figuring out what resolution I want to use. Uh, uh, I know I'm going to have to, st I've always streamed 1080p, and, uh, and my monitor, you know, my, my system was set up at 1080p, so there was no, everything looked the same. I had it all set up, but I imported it. I just take so much work to set up all the cameras and everything that I have here. I think you can probably see. Oh, yeah, you can't see the whole monitor the way it's set up, can you? Uh, if I get that stuff out of the way, I could tell. I put that stuff up there just to uh, stop uh, having to see the audio feedback. So let's just move this stuff. Um, anyway, I plugged in a different, I started out with that. I plugged in a different cable. Uh, I got terrible distortion on my last test in the audio, and I noticed that it was uh, pegging the red, so I readjusted it, and uh, I don't know what, I mean, anyway, well, let's leave it like it is for right now. Anyway, I've got the uh, advanced audio properties open so I can listen to it, and you probably get feed, you may get, uh, yeah, it's pretty distorted still, and I've got it way down, just barely getting into yellow. That should be actually too quiet and not good, but, but this is a different sound card. That's judging by the, you know, the built-in sound card on the Lenovo i5. And, uh, and it's only, uh, on the, um, yeah, I can leave that like that for now. So I'm going to close those audio properties, and then my, the uh, ALSA audio preferences. Let's put them right there. And I think they may show up. I don't know though, will I? There's no way I can tell. Okay, so uh, this is the sound card, how it shows up. That is the sound card on the camera, the, the, the Comrie 4K camera. I just got through resetting up the resolutions and I was fixing to do another test on it uh, to see what megapixels I want to set that at uh, to look the best. And uh, these don't, you know, but uh, these two won't do anything. The alt monitor of, uh, you plug them in, you just don't get any sound. This one is the TV. No, that's my video card. Oh, that's the other thing I was getting into. Uh, my vi I have an 8 gigabyte, I was going to say, I keep forgetting to say that, I have an 8 gigabyte video card in that. It's a, it, that's what it is right there, Radeon. I don't know if you're going to see it or not, but it's a Radeon. Let's go to the desktop so 
you don't have to see me anymore. Okay, so on the, uh, yeah, now I know where to put, the, uh, put it up there, and I know you'll probably get all of that. So the uh, monitor of Elsamir HDMI audio, Radeon, it's on the Radeon RX 474-4, <coughs> forward slash 480. Um, I don't know why it has so many numbers in it. Well, I think they call it a 570. Or, I'm not sure what they call it, but anyway. Well, I guess that's what it sees it as, all the, all the classes it could be in. But <clears throat> I believe it's called a 570. But anyway, uh, that gives me my video. And my TV has a new thing that I didn't even know about. Uh, it can send audio both ways. It can receive audio t to the TV. You plug it in, there's only one uh, HDMI that'll do it on this. But you can plug it, I, I have to look at the graph to see how you would even plug it up because it just kind of throws my mind in a circle. But uh, I, I can't even remember. You'd, I think you go to the, see, how would you do that? I think if you go to the TV and then you tell them to take another cable out of one of the other HDMI ports and go to your sound bar. It can go back. Hmm. Or your sound system, but it has to be one capable of, I can't think of the name of that, what it is. Anyway, I was hoping, when I saw that, you know, and of course the computer, this is my computer, not a, not a sound bar, so it, but it shows up. This, this is a sound device. This is not the video device. Uh, and it's, uh, it's calling it an HDMI 4, I, and the, I think the uh, the port, I guess it's number 4 because it's the audio return device. And uh, yes, I tried it. It didn't work. <laughs> but uh, it's HDMI 3, the, the, the number of the port on the uh, on the TV. But it, that works perfectly, and, I, and I've been, I leave it like that because uh, I was hoping this, I was hoping once I'd, uh, I was hoping it would work, you know, the audio. I tried it, but uh, um, I wonder. I tried it by plugging in RCA cables into the composite input. There's a composite video input. I mean, a com yeah, composite video input. Uh, that's with a single, usually yellow colored RCA. And then you have a red and a white. Uh, or it can be red and blue sometimes, but I think the TV, this TV is red and white, uh, RCA audio left and right. And I plugged it, just the audio in and hope it, and then selected this to see, as an input, but it didn't give me any audio. And as a very sad, uh, unexpected thing, I've had it plugged into my mixer that I used, you know, to send my sound to my speaker. Well, I use it to, normally I use it to send sound to my computer to record, but and then out of the computer to the speakers, but I, I also have a more out, you know, have a control room output, and I sent that control. Anyway, I, I wired it up a couple of different ways get to see if it worked. Well, I just listened on headphones to see is what I did, and wired it up a couple of different ways. And uh, but it put a horrible buzz, uh, you know, to make the whole the whole board just made the whole thing the sound unusable. Period. So I had to disconnect that. But it was just now hitting me. Well, that's not meant to go through the RCAs. It's meant to go through HDMI. I got now. I'll get thinking. Okay. Oh, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have anything that would take HDMI on my mixer. You know, it's an analog mixer, and my speakers, of course, that's all analog. My, I mean, my amps, my car audio amps. They're RCA inputs. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm sure this is distorted still, and uh, I haven't done anything to fix that yet. Let me listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, check. Check. Yeah, it's still really distorted. And I remember that this sound card was really sensitive. Um, this USB sound card, but I do, I thought I had it working once, just in a test. Uh, but, uh, 
which as you can see, that's why I have this up here. You can see that it's just my, it's not at all like it should be though. It's it's only lighting up one little bar, and it'll get. Let me show you. See now that's about that would be about normal for some computers, sound cards. Uh, I think that's about what it looks like. But what I that right there now that's just banging the red. See. That's what I ended up doing. Is it still distorting? A little bit. No, not no. It's actually more than a little bit. Okay, so this is no good. What's? I'm gonna turn that sound off again. I need some meter to set it back up. But right there is about where I normally would keep it. Uh, on I'm talking about the meters. You, may not, you probably can't even see them. Um, the meter's in uh, OBS Studio. Because I, I haven't... I decided to, to, to try and fix that right now while I was thinking about it. And then I thought, well, let's make a recording and test it. But, uh, yeah, normally in the other machine, I, I go just below 100%. And we're talking about line-level signals. But uh, anyway, and the other thing is, and I guess you're not actually seeing it, because uh, yeah, you can't see the bottom of the OBS Studio screen the way this is, uh, the way the resolutions are set up right now. But uh, the uh, the mic input is only mono, and OBS will go ahead and turn it into stereo. But uh, that would still work. But I know this sound card will do well. Earlier, the other cable setup I had, it was showing stereo. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I could look at the other video I made, but uh, I don't really know what's going on with this card and why it's doing that because, let's see, yeah, sound effects, none. hardware, audio adapter, and demo one is from the camera, but it's terrible sound. I wouldn't dare use that. Audio stereo output multi-channel input. I believe that is the only one. Audio, stereo output, mono input, analog stereo output, multi-channel input, yeah. The one that it's on is the one that I want it on. That's the input, that's where I was all this time. Output, audio adapter, yeah, if I do that, it's not hooked up to anything, so it wouldn't give me any sound. And this is my output that goes, uh, goes to my amps. Same thing. Uh, this it's it's uh, it does work to pick up the sound. The, the sound going over the HDMI cable goes to the TV and then out of the TV to my amps. Works great. Now, when you try to watch TV, uh, that signal there's no way to control the volume. The the, the volume controls on, you know, the remote, the volume control on the TV does nothing to that output. It's just a set line level signal and it's uh, hot enough that when it hits my amps, or at least the way I have them set up, uh, you know, you do have some little volumes but they're meant to be set and forget, you know, set it and forget it. And that's, that's the only way you could, you, you know, they're, they're at least you turn them with a screwdriver. They're just little, they're just gain, input gains or, in, I don't know if they're necessarily gains, let them gains on a, uh, they're not, I'm sure they're not gains just because of the way they behave. They're not gains like gains on a uh, mic input on a mixer. They're levels, they're input levels and uh, volumes, you know. And uh, attenuators, I would imagine, it's like, uh, um, we, I'm trying to remember the right words and then I forget them. Like pots, like uh, pots on your guitar um, volume. Uh, I don't, I don't remember the right word right now. It's not attenuators, I don't think. But anyway. Uh, okay, now let me look at this. Oh, okay. Got three OBS. Those would be virtual, I guess. Oh, applications. I guess that's because it has... Uh, it, can, it can do six channels of audio. But I guess it's so it would be two, four, six, you know channels of stereo uh, that is 
At one point, I turned that on because I thought it might be useful. But what it does is it, it, if it did really get six inputs, and it would mix them down to two channel out. I mean, that's the way I have it set. You can do it. You can have it mixed, you know, surround sound if you want. But then it's not going to work on YouTube or, or a lot. It wouldn't work on a lot of your, you know, devices and things that you played it on either. So uh, you can only work with, on things with surround sound. And, and, and even things that can mix surround sound down to stereo, it never sounds quite right. And it usually where you lose, what you really lose is the uh, understanding of the audio. So I would, wouldn't do it that way for my, you know, my kind of videos. But uh, just YouTube videos, you know. But anyway, I, I know this is even probably more distorted now than it was a minute ago when I had just one bar. So I need to just quit talking and uh, go. Uh, um, I don't have to do it. Something different for the audio. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm getting mixed up here. All right. I'm gonna go now. Wait. I'm gonna do. There, foreign desktop. I'm getting tired. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's see. Oh, I see. I just now realized that you can see the whole screen. There we go. At least in there, in that view, you can, and I can make this these things fit right, but I just haven't done it yet. But uh, yeah, that's where I pretty much, probably a little bit lower even than I would normally have it set. So it, in, it's looking at the OBS Studio, uh, the OBS Studio meters. That should not be. There's no way that should be distorting. So. Uh, And if I bring it down a little more, then it's not even up in, well, it's still just getting in the yellow, but it's still distorted. So uh, let me check it one more time. So, check one. Check one. Yeah. So, uh, go back to the desktop again. That's right. I was confused a minute ago. So well, that's good. At least the whole time that I was talking about stuff, it can be seen. I was just, I was just confused. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not. I don't know what's going on with that. Cause the the sound there, because it's the same exact one. I think it is. I do have two of them. There's one of them that works better than the other. One of them kind of gives trouble. It's possible I could have swapped them out, and that's the one that. Doesn't work good. One of them will work just fine in one of my laptops, but not really in any any other machine to put it in that I know of, or any of the desktops. But the one bad thing I didn't like about it, I'm so glad once I got the TV. I thought I was going to have to spend hundred, you know, eighty, hundred bucks on a video a sound card. But uh, then when I realized I could get my sound through my TV by getting the right TV, you know, I. Uh, I didn't have to do that, but um, the uh, but I can't I can't watch TV with my speakers uh, on and, and the speakers in the TV are crap, which I you know they usually are. But I wasn't wanting to use them anyway. Um, I need. Uh, Unless I had a way to, well, now I can set it up. I just haven't wanted to do it yet. But if I send my uh, sound out of the TV and then into my mixer, my Behringer mixer, uh, I, have two, I have two mic channels, the mono, and then two stereo uh, line level channels. I can put it in. I can put that into one of these line level channels and be able to, you know, turn the volume up and down. But I'll have to do it with this. I can't I won't be able to do it with a remote, you know, so I'll have to have it to where I can reach it. I can reach it just fine right here. It's a little awkward, you know. I have to kind of do like that. But I can't see it good. <coughs> I 
And um, if you reach up there and grab the wrong one and you mess up, I like to set this and forget. And, well, I can't forget it because I always bump into it, but where it is now. And I've been thinking for a while, well, if I was going to do that, I was thinking I'd put it over there in my rack. But then I have to do that to, to touch it. And, you know, when you're watching TV, you really have to ride the volume. <coughs> Any kind of videos anymore, you know. <coughs> so... I haven't, I don't really want to do it that way. Uh, I don't, I hardly, I haven't wanted to watch TV not one time since I got it and I've had it since November, I think early November. So, yeah, I got it on Black Friday. I ordered it on Black Friday. I guess that was later in November. But, um, yeah, so I haven't done anything like that yet. But, um, uh, Okay. Well, let's get enough tests now. All right, bye.